Welcome back to another Unreal Engine tutorial. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a first person or maybe a third person uh, weapon trace. So here's my current project. Uh, and like when you shoot on those barrels who are in the background, uh, um, yeah, they're going to explode. Uh, and uh, this we're going to track with a uh, called line trace. So um, a pretty small line gets uh, tracked from the top of the weapon to the end of our crosshair or to the end of the range from the weapon so um, let's do it it's pretty simple I think uh, not that um, difficult so we go uh, into functions uh, and add a new function and we call it um, yeah fire trace uh, I call it fire trace true because I already have it there. So um, we add uh, three inputs there. So one, two, three. The first will be the weapon mesh, and that's a scene component. So um, then then the muzzle socket, a name. And the range. So uh, we go into our weapon mesh, mm, drag them pin off, and then get socket name, get socket location. So, um, and that will be the muzzle socket. Then out of there, uh, line trace by channel, like this, and. Um, now it gets a bit complicated, so we go in our uh, first person camera, or maybe third person, and get the forward vector. Then we're gonna multiply it uh, with our range, uh, just you can get it from there, or just type get range, plug that in. Um, then we're gonna move it a bit there. So from this out, we're gonna add uh, this this value to this value, and then right put it in the end. This is now our uh, line trace per channel. Then if you want to make, um, maybe you can add a return node. And then in our in your graph you can do some stuff with those values you get, or you can just make it here so we break it. And when we go to hit actor, and then you cast to our first person character maybe, um, and then just destroy it. So when you are hitting another player, the player will be destroyed. So. Yeah, maybe you can make here a damage event or something. Um, I just can put here the explosive can or explosive barrel here, and uh, I made a event for it called destruct. So it's basically just a particle system which gets played and. Um, yeah, it will be destroyed and the sound will play. Also, it's pretty easy. Um, then we go to our play input graph or maybe our event graph. I don't know. I made an extra graph for this. Um, input action fire or just left mouse. And then we can grab our function, fire trace 2. Um, I just plug that off for a minute and then our weapon mesh will be um, how is it I just take my m4 and get weapon mesh so plug that in and the muzzle circle will be muzzle so you just go to your to your uh, um, 
you just go to your mesh of your weapon. So mine is uh, where is it? Uh, ah, there. Um, and I add added a socket called muzzle right at the front, and then the range would be ten thousand, I guess. You can change those values, of course. And then um, nothing happens, or we just didn't see anything because we go in our trace. And on the draw debug type, we put in four drop persistent. So uh, when we shoot, we see those red lines. And when I'm pretty good at aiming, it gets destructed. So you can add then a event where an animation play with the fire montage or a muzzle flash uh, on top of your weapon. So I hope the tutorial was uh, helpful and yeah, you learned something and go on with your project. Um, have a nice day. Uh, questions, leave in the comments below and um, bye bye. <laughs>